you so much, Rabbi Rose. I'm, I'm really overwhelmed <coughs> with your exceptionally uh, kind words. And uh, Rabbi Zol, is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and ambassadors. And ambassadors. Yeah, we should do. Okay. Um, I only arrived yesterday morning, um, and I've been blessed to be at many, many conferences and congresses around the world. There's a very special atmosphere here. Uh, the warmth is palpable. I think there's also an excitement in the air um, because we haven't yet got used to the new era. And, um, and this is so special that not only are we blessed to have reached this point, uh, but also it is charged with so many wonderful opportunities. And in terms of the prayers that we should be offering at a time such as this, I believe that there are two types of prayers. But let me just preface that by telling you a story. The British Airways aeroplane was flying from Ben Gurion, Tel Aviv to London Heathrow. Hello. Ah, thank you. How are you? Thank you for joining us. How are you doing, everybody? <laughs> no, I, okay. You've come at the right moment, I think. I'm just about to tell a story. Okay. And, and, and thank you so much for gracing us with, with your illustrious presence. So there was a British Airways aeroplane which was flying from Tel Aviv to London. And while the plane was flying over the continent, the pilot came over and said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to inform you that the whole of London is covered by a blanket of fog. And as a result, we'll be diverging to Manchester International Airport. And from there, we'll be providing you with buses to get to London. Immediately after the announcement, an air hostess noticed a chassid, a pious Jewish man, putting his hand into his bag. From there, he took a small black book, he opened it, and he started to sway backwards and forwards while he was reading from its pages. And this air hostess thought to herself, this crazy man thinks that his prayers are going to lift the fog. About 20 minutes later, the pilot came over again. He said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to inform you the fog has lifted. <laughs> and as a result, we'll be alive, landing in Heathrow as planned. So straight after that, the hostess went over to the chassid and she said, I owe you an apology, he said, whatever for. She said, those prayers of yours, he said, no, my prayers. She said, no, don't be so modest. I saw exactly what you did. He said, no, he said, my prayers failed. She said, what are you talking about? He said, my prayers didn't work. She said, can you explain yourself? He said, sure. You see, he said, those prayers of mine, they were not prayers of supplication. They were prayers of thanksgiving. You see, he said, I live in Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe that we should be offering two types of prayers today. First of all, prayers of thanksgiving. We thank the Almighty for bringing us to this wonderful moment, moment of togetherness, moment of a spirit of unity, moment charged with opportunity for this region, for the world, for our faiths. And while offering thanksgiving, I'd also like to thank the AJC for everything that you are achieving globally and particularly in this region. You know, the Hebrew word for thanks, mode, has another meaning. It means to admit. It's the identical word, mode. Thank you and admit. And the reason for that is you can only genuinely give thanks to a person if you admit that if not for what that person has done, this would not have happened. That's the reason why some people are a bit reluctant to express thanks in the way that they should because they're not ready to acknowledge that they are indebted to another person. But sure enough, we give thanks to the AJC because we admit that if not for your role in what has been transpiring, um, who knows where we might or might not be. And certainly a star, a global gem within that configuration is Rabbi David Rosen. and. Uh, we all are just in awe of what you have achieved over many decades. And you referred to earlier times 
And uh, indeed, it was thanks to you that I received my very first position in the rabbinate in Dublin when I was a young man aged 25. And uh, I shall always have hakaratatov indebtedness to you for mentoring me and, uh, and for being there over the years. And uh, not just the Jewish world, but our entire world owes so much to you for your extraordinary talent. Big Mahfuz, we can't thank you enough because we also admit, if not for yourself, if not for your legendary father and uh, his extraordinary work and being such an outstanding role model. Rabbi Rosen earlier referred to humility. If you want to see humility, you see it in Shakespeare's Bible. That, I mean, it, it's absolutely extraordinary. Um, our greatest rabbi of all time was Moses, and the Bible says there was nobody who was as humble as him. True greatness is to be found in humility, and that is what we find in your family. And we thank you for your own efforts, for your lovely personality, for your friendship, for your warmth, for your collegiality. Um, and thank you, because so much is happening as a result of your family's uh, wonderful works and initiatives. There is here a very special atmosphere, and what I'm seeing is it's the pooling together of talent, of desire, of effort. There are so many disparate groups, but people are coming together because we share a vision for the future. Good afternoon. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you, if you know the origin of the Hebrew word for hand. So why is yad the word for hand? So in a hand you have 14 joints three in each finger and two in the thumb. So that's 14, and 14 in Hebrew lettering is Yud Dalit, which spells Yad, and that's why Yad is a hand. And when two people come together and they shake hands or they hold hands, you've got Yad and Yad, and yad which makes the word Yud Dalit, Yud Dalit, which is Yadid, a friend. And Yadid in turn is 14 and 14, adding up to 28, which in Hebrew lettering is Kafchet, which spells Koach, power. So the greatest source of power is yididut, it is friendship. And that is why there's the sense of power here in this building, of strength, it's because people are together. And we here within our Jewish world are together and that gives us strength. And beyond our Jewish world, we will attain strength with other faiths if we pool our resources together in that spirit of warmth and of friendship. And that is why this particular forum for me is so very special. Thank you so much for putting on this luncheon. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing. We offer our prayers of thanksgiving, but at the same time, we offer prayers of supplication to the Almighty. And I put our prayers in this nutshell, and that is, we're on a journey. The destination is clear. We want to achieve nothing less than Unity, peace, harmony, and togetherness on earth. May Almighty God bless us that no blankets of fog will prevent us from getting there. Thank you very much.